Hey beautiful people, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. Do you ever see a commercial on TV and you think, that's some baloney? <laughs> The other day, I seen this commercial with these nose strips, totally random, and it was not graphic, but she was peeling the strip off of her nose and all of this, like, just nose garbage came out on this strip, and I was like, hmm, does it really do that? Does it really? Guess what? <laughs> I found them and I'm going to try them out myself and debunk this commercial. So I found these at Walmart. They are the Bior Free Your Pores Charcoal Deep Conditioning Pore Strips. Instantly unclogs pores and draws out excess oil. See, three times less oil. Break up with blackheads. See, I've tried to break up with my acne and it just keeps coming back and just begging for me to be in its life. <laughs> I broke up with you a long time ago, Acne. This is my bare skin, nothing on there. I don't have a problem with oily skin as I did like years and years ago. It was bad, people, it was gross. But now I think it's more just like dry skin and then still those nasty breakouts. I've got a few, but you know. Like I said, that monthly guest that comes around that I do not invite, but it just keeps showing up every month. <laughs> the side, it says it is dermatologist tested, which is good because I have the most sensitive skin ever. I've talked about this. Hypoallergenic, that's good. Oil-free, amazing. Problem pores are no problem with Be Your Skincare products. And then advertise the other stuff they use. I personally have never used Be Your products before. Look how happy this lady looks with her nose strip. I want to be as joyful as that lady with my, what is this called, or strip on my nose. So we're gonna debunk and see if this commercial was true or not. Let's go ahead and begin. So on the back, it says what it does. Work like a magnet to instantly lock onto and lift out deep down dirt, oil, and blackheads. In just 10 minutes, you'll remove weeks worth of built up, see three times less oil, and achieve your deepest clean. All right, sounds good to me. <laughs> see that? They got little diagrams, which is good for people like me who like to look at pictures and not really like to read. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Step number one is to remove from the pack. <whistles> Could have done it cleaner. So what do we get? Ooh, my goodness, what did I get? We got a coupon. Hey. Save $2 on any one be your cleanser, tone, or mask. Ooh, we love a deal. So you get 18 in there. Look at all those. Feels super thin. You would think there was nothing in here. It is so thin and it feels like paper. And it's got the instructions on the pack. So if you wanted to, you could throw away this big old bulky box and just keep the nose strips. Hey, we got our thing. Twist strip to loosen and separate slits prior to use. See illustration. There's the illustration. Open this. <laughs> Anytime now. Five minutes later. That smells like black olives. That smells delightful. I love me some black olives. Okay, so you get it? Looks like this. It's a very thin, it feels like filth, and it comes just on this piece of plastic. It tells you to twist, strip, to loosen, and separate slits. What do you mean? Don't I just take it off of this? Slits on the back. Okay, I get it. So you're supposed to where the slits are, make sure that you slit the actual strip, which it looks like they kind of already are. That's not gonna help. <laughs> I'm doing the opposite beauty guru move. Step number two. 
After washing your face, which I did off camera, thoroughly wet nose. This strip won't stick on a dry nose. Aw, oh, man, I didn't wet my nose. I washed it, but I didn't, I mean, I did wet it, but then I dried it. I'm gonna go wet my nose. <laughs> Very random. I'll be back. A few moments later. I wet this washcloth and I'm just gonna wet my nose. Okay, step number three, dry hands. They're already dry. Peel strip off plastic, apply to nose area, smooth side down, pressing down to ensure good contact with the skin. So take this off. Smooth side is the back, look at that shininess. Cut out, goes up here, but how far do I put it down my nose? This is really making me look so pale. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There we go. You know, I know I'm pale, but camera, you don't gotta do me dirty like that. It's really messing it up. This feels like one of my camera. This feels really comfortable. Um, probably because I've slept in nose strips before that help my allergies at night. I didn't realize this was gonna be this big on my nose, so the edges are coming up a little bit, but everything else seems like it's gonna stick. Okay, step number four. Let me do this before I start rambling. Let dry for 10 to 15 minutes until stiff to the touch, like paper. Was at this moment that she knew she f***ed up. It already feels like that. Did I goof? Here's the deal. It's supposed to be, I guess, sopping wet, and it's not sopping wet. I'm going to fix this, and I will be right back. So basically what happened was I did not put enough moisture to my skin, so the strip still felt like paper. So I made sure my nose was basically sopping wet, and then I stuck this back on, and it, you could tell it's like stuck in my skin better. That sounds kind of gross, but it's working. So it does feel a little bit more snug on my nose, which to me does not feel bad at all. The next step, now that I did this correctly, you let dry for about 10 to 15 minutes until stiff to touch, like paper mache. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this sit on my nose then for 10 to 15 minutes. I'll probably go 15 minutes so then we can get the full effect to see if this actually works. So I will be back in 15 minutes, which for you, it'll be like one second. 15 minutes later. The very last step is slowly and carefully peel off, starting at edges, pulling towards center. Any residue left on skin is easily removed with rinsing. I look very, oh, oh, lighting. Hey, we missed you. Okay. So start, ow, oh, this feels so hard. Ow, that hurts so bad. Ooh, oh, what is that? I guess that's the residue it was talking about. Um. Does my nose look any different from before? I'll try to flash like what it looked like before I started and then what it looks like now. I feel like it looks the same besides this little stuff. Definitely some stuff came off. If this is gross, I'm sorry, but you, you clicked, clicked on a poor strip review. I mean, I don't think a lot came off, which is, I guess, good. Yeah, that just rinses off nicely. Feels a little bit sticky. Other than that, it feels really good. I took the nose strip off. Why, camera, you doing me dirty today? That. Ooh. My nose has been exposed. <laughs> I don't care. Everybody has a bunch of nose junk on their nose, but now I'm the one that doesn't have the junk on my nose. Stuff like this just fascinates me. Okay, so now it is time to discuss the positives and the negatives of the 
Dior Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. So let's go ahead and start off with the negatives because I only have one negative to say is that whenever I was peeling off the strip, it did hurt so bad. But keep in mind that I personally think it is really painful to rip off bandages. I've always been that way. I mean, like I said earlier, what band-aid does not hurt to take off? Basically, once you just get those little corners peeled on both sides and just get it started and then shut your eyes and then just rip it slowly, it doesn't hurt that bad. But I mean, if we're trying to just like nitpick on little stuff here, that is the only negative thing that I have to say. But the positive thing is that it did not break out my skin. My nose is not rashing up. It left my nose feeling super soft and it doesn't feel oily at all, which is good. Debunking this commercial, was it true? Absolutely, so much nose garbage came off onto that strip. I mean, I didn't have a lot but I try to take really good care of my skin, but not to say I'm not gonna have imperfections with my skin, cause really nobody has perfect skin. So if you wanna pick this up, I got this at Walmart. I would definitely pick these up again. My plan with these is there's 18 in there. Now there is 16 in there because I goofed on the first one. So, <laughs> had to redo it. But the second one went perfectly right um so i think with these if i just do it like once a week it would be good because you don't want to do this too much because you know you should let your skin breathe and let it do its natural, natural thing, thing. <laughs> just do this once a week and your nose will thank you for it and yeah so break up with those nasty blackheads nobody likes them either <laughs> so that completes this review for the be your deep cleansing pore strips if you guys want me to do any other review on a certain product or thing or whatever you want me to do a review on just let me know in the comments down below or if there's a commercial that you saw that you want me to debunk see if it's true or not just let me know comment down below but if you enjoyed this review make sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you will not miss out whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to make sure that you are registered to vote. If you need any help or have any questions on that, make sure to hit the link in my description box. It will get you all set up and ready to go come November, so make sure you vote. Oh, and two, I'm doing this out of order. Oops, <laughs> it's okay. And make sure to follow all my other social media links, which are linked down below in the description box, like always. And now, <laughs> with, that, with that being said, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And until next time, always remember to pray, slay, and conquer the day. Love you. Conquered the day with now your new nose. <laughs> Bye.